Hello, and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to connect your CR 631, 730, 1201, or 1300 cutter to your computer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Device Manager. And depending on your operating system, um, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows 10, there's a variety of different ways to get there. Um, probably most people these days are using Windows 10. In Windows 10, the easiest way is just go to the search icon, type in Device Manager, and Device Manager comes up. Click on it. And here you'll see everything that's connected to your computer. We're going to expand this. So when you first connect your cutter, it's going to come up under Universal Serial Bus Controllers or under ports. So before we connect our computer we're going to want to install the driver for it and drivers will be found on Cutter Pro's website. So if we go to CutterPros.com go down to the bottom go to tech support here. This area has all of our drivers and all of our um, tutorials and videos all that kind of stuff. Scroll down until you find the 730, 1300, 631, 1201. This cutter is very popular for window tint um, for a variety of reasons. Uh, most of us are using the 64-bit driver these days. So this 64-bit driver works for most um, for most all the different uh, versions of Windows. So Windows 7, 8, 10, 64-bit this will all work with the 64-bit driver. If you have the 32-bit driver, that's up here. It says Vista, but it also works for all the various versions of Windows. So click on this, click Run. And you'll see it's going to run. Close that. Okay, so next we're going back to Device Manager, and here in Device Manager you'll see the common LPT ports and the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. We're going to connect our cutter, and we're going to turn it on. You can probably hear it go on in the background. and you'll hear a little Windows ding and you'll see that it actually connected to the driver that we just installed CoderPros.com CR730 and 1300 USB driver. Now the problem is is that CoderPros developed this driver right about when Windows 64-bit became popular and we needed a 64-bit driver to run this cutter. A few years later another driver was published and it's called the BOSA driver. Both drivers are compatible with the cutter, but all the software drivers and all the various programs were written for this driver. So a lot of times if you just connect your computer and and you connect the cutter to your computer and you turn in the cutter on, it's going to connect as a BOSA device. So I'm going to show you how to go back and forth between Cutter Pro's driver and BOSA driver. So we're currently attached to the Cutter Pro's driver. We're going to right click. We're going to update the driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick. And you'll see here, here's the BOSA driver. I'll click on the BOSA driver. Click next. It's going to install it. Close. And now you'll see it shows up up here. BOSA program port, COM6. Um, so this is not the preferred driver. The preferred driver is the Cutter Pro's driver. If you're using SignCut or Flexi, you will need to use the Cutter Pro's driver. Vinyl Master can use either the BOSA or the Cutter Pro's driver, although we prefer the Cutter Pro's driver for Vinyl Master as well. So let's go back and change this from BOSA to Cutter Pro's. Right click, update driver, search, uh, browse my computer, let me pick, and we're going to pick the Cutter Pro's driver this time. Next installing, close, 
and then it drops back down to Cutter Pros. So this is what we always want to see when you turn on your cutter and you connect it to the computer, it should always come up like this in Device Manager. Now, if you're running Flexi Starter, which is very common uh, for Tint, because window, uh, Tint Tech runs inside Flexi Starter, and lots of other uh, Tint programs run inside Flexi Starter. I have Flexi Starter installed here. I'm going to run Production Manager, and you're going to get this screen you're going to want to add a device the brand name we're going to scroll down to Cutter Pros and if you have a CR1201 or a CR1300 select CR1300 if you have a CR631 or a CR730 select CR730 uh, all four of those cutters have the same Atmel based uh, motherboard uh, and they will both they all connect under 730 or 1300 and uh, I have a CR730 uh, which is the same as the 631 I'm going to select the CR730 to connect to click next and it should come up with Cutter Pro USB as the connection here if it does that's good click finish um, on the cutter itself, if you change the drivers back and forth, and lots of times Windows will go and will do an auto update, and when it auto updates, it switches drivers and messes with the drivers, and you have to go back and change it to the Cutter Pro's driver. Uh, it gets a little frustrating sometimes, but when you switch those drivers back and forth, the cutter can kind of get confused and needs to be reset. In order to reset the cutter, there might be a reset button on the keypad. Uh, ignore it. That reset button really doesn't help you much. What does help is pressing the two red limit switches on the inside of the track for the carriage. So on the right side and the left side on the inside there's two red limit switches. If you press those buttons at the same time the cutter will reset. So if you see here in device manager I'm gonna press those red limit switches once and you'll see you'll hear it disconnect and reconnect and it'll flicker and it comes back that resets the cutter it clears all stuck jobs um, completely resets the memory so whenever you need to reset the cutter reset it often uh, press the red limit switches uh, so here we're going to do a test cut pull down here test cut and you can probably hear it cutting in the background moving around there uh, doing the test cut so we know it's connected well so that's Flexi Tint Tech Production Manager connection. Like I said, if you're running Tint, you probably have a CR1300 or a CR1201, which would say CR1300 here instead of CR730. The only difference is the width of the cutter, the 730 and 631 are 24 inch, the 1300 and 1201 are 48 inch cutters. So next, let's take a look at Vinyl Master. So always download the software from the internet. Uh, we do provide backup disks and backup media but the problem is is we're taking a snapshot in time of what the program looks like and the software developers are constantly coming out with iterative updated versions that have newer devices added, uh, newer drivers added to the software so always always download from the internet to get the latest and greatest. All right, so here we are in Vinyl Master. Um, I'm going to type a character here. I'm going to click and send to cutter. It's going to click and send to cutter. I can hit cut now, and it's going to take me to the vinyl spooler. On the vinyl spooler, go to connection. I'm going to add a cutter. Maker. So if you pull down this list, go down to Cutter Pros, and you're going to see two Cutter Pros. You're going to see Cutter Pros and Cutter Pros Legacy. If you don't see two of them, then you have an older version of the software, and you should remove it from your computer and go to the internet and download the latest and greatest until you do see two versions. The one, the Legacy, are our old drivers. 
the one that does not say legacy are the new drivers and for this we want the new drivers we're going to click cutter pros now here under select cutter you can see Vinyl Master has written software drivers compatible with both the BOSA and the Cutter Pro's hardware drivers. So in this case I have the Cutter Pro's hardware driver selected and I have a CR730. You can also see there's the 631 here, the 1201 is here, the 1300 is here, so they're all here. So I'm going to select CR730, the Cutter Pro's driver version, install that. It's been installed. Since I'm switching between Flexi and Vinyl Master, I'm going to reset the cutter again. And you hear it flicker um, and reattach the driver. The, with the CR730 selected here, we should have a Windows port. We should have PCUT Lib as the port. And if I hit Cut now, it should connect and cut. And I think you can probably hear it moving around in the background. Uh, so it cut that. Uh, that little X and so that's how we attach this correctly to Vinyl Master. Uh, if you've gone through this tutorial and you are still having trouble connecting your cutter to your computer uh, please contact us. Cutter Pros Tech Support can be found at support at cutterpros.com for email or you can go down to this little live chat icon at the bottom right corner of our homepage or any of our other pages on our site and you can get us on live chat that way or call us 888-828-8776 uh, thank you and thanks for watching this tutorial